One of the biggest barriers to learning cloud or cloud security is not really the technology, it's not about how difficult it is, but it's actually cost, right? If you're an organization, one of the big issues that you're dealing with is cost. And you're also dealing with the fact that you don't want people learning and deploying vulnerable resources on your organization's cloud accounts, right? This is why we created cloud sandboxes. Now, cloud sandboxes are essentially a way to do away with all the barriers that you are going to encounter while trying to learn cloud and cloud security. So let's take an example of Amazon, right? Now, if you want to learn Amazon, what you need to do is sign up for an Amazon account, pay with your credit card. You need to load a credit card on there. And once you've loaded a credit card on there, you need to then go and create resources and deploy resources and delete resources and all of that stuff and learn through that process. Now, oftentimes the problem with this is that you might have spun up, let's say a server or something like that, and you forget to turn it off and that, that is going to accrue you know, an amount and you automatically have to pay at the end of the month for that server that you didn't use for more than 15 minutes trying to learn how to spin up a server or something like that. So you are incurring huge costs on things that you don't use or you may, may never use in the future. So this is one of the big issues with learning cloud. Now, what we have done at AppSec Engineer is taken out all the barriers for learning the cloud and especially cloud security, and we've started with Amazon. So what we've done is that when you have a business plus or an enterprise account with us, all you have to do is literally spin up the lab and you have a sandboxed, completely ready Amazon account that works for you without you ever having to sign up for Amazon, give your credit card, and run the potential overages that you might incur on that card. So this makes it super easy for you to actually learn cloud security without dealing with all the cost and the pesky issues that come with actually trying to spin up resources on the cloud. Let's look at that with an example. So in this uh, in this example, we have, we're, we're learning Amazon ECR, which is the uh, container registry product that Amazon has. Now let's say we want to run a lab on Amazon ECR. Now the way it works is just like exactly like any other a, any other lab on AppSec Engineer, right? It works the same exact way. You have uh, you have the instructions, you have the lab, and that's pretty simple. Now let's actually spin up the lab, and there's one extra step that you need to do that will give you a real world Amazon account that you can actually use to run your resources. You can you're actually going to be given a real Amazon account, which is our account. You're going to get a slice of our account. You're going to run all of your lab-related uh, uh, configs and parameters on that account. And once you're done with the lab, that account doesn't exist anymore. Right? So that's really powerful stuff that you can do with our cloud sandboxes. And very soon, we're going to be extending that to Azure and Google Cloud as well. So let's get started in understanding how this works. Now I click on provision. As always, provisioning a lab on AppSec Engineer is super easy. It takes about 30 to 60 seconds. And once you're done with provisioning, you have to add that extra step to get your Amazon account provisioned, your sandbox account provisioned. Now remember, this is available only for Business Plus and Enterprise customers. So if you are running a Business Plus account or an Enterprise account, you will have access to this. So now we have our lab nearly spun up. Once our lab is spun up, we're going to access the lab and we are going to spin up that sandboxed Amazon account. So we have our Amazon, um, our lab spun up. As you can see, our lab has spun up right now. And we are going to first set up that cloud sandbox on Amazon. So what we're going to do is run a small command. And once we do this, we get a real world Amazon account. In fact, it's written to AWS creds.txt, and you'll see that it's an actual real world Amazon account. So how do we know it's actually real world? And I'm not saying something just for the sake of it. Let's log in. So we get uh, AWS URL that you can actually use to access this, and you enter the password. Username is AppSec Engineer, password is this, and you actually, as you can see, you have a full-fledged Amazon account that you can spin up container registry, other uh, services into this. And of course, uh, with our AWS classes, you have all of the Terraforms that you can load 
and you're after the races, you don't ever have to sign up for Amazon, deal with all that credit card nonsense, or deal with potential overages that really stress you out, or deploy vulnerable resources on a company account that will be even more stressful. So none of that is necessary when you have AppSec engineers, cloud sandboxes. Your cloud security learning experience is super seamless and super easy.